good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our official start to the 2022 season. Who here is ready to get your own personal meeting with the 2022 Kansas City Chiefs? I think we're on a mission, um, and I think the guys will have a bad taste in their mouth from the AFC Championship game that we're here. So to bring these new guys in, they're, they're hungry, they're ready to go. We're excited for the season to get going and uh, get the show of what we're all about. Number 95, Stone Cold Chris Jones. Also, I gotta get off topic. Coach Reed, you look amazing. We don't get to see Coach Reed with a suit on. Oh my God, the suit is tailored. You look amazing, uh, okay? Okay, Coach Reed, you look amazing. You feel the excitement in this room? That's why I'm energized, baby. I just, um, I, I, love the, I love the feeling of new. I love the feeling the, of, of seeing new faces and, and getting new opportunities with, uh, especially with this group right here. Growing up, man, I played basketball as my first sport. You know, I really got into uh, basketball, soccer, then bowling. You know, I was on the bowling team. I really think I got all my athleticism from the basketball court, man. You know, being able to play positions one through five. Growing up, man, it was a lot of playing street ball. You know, you just had to do something. You know, you couldn't be out on the street. You know, my parents didn't really condone that. They wanted me to be out, you know, with my friends at a hoop or at a soccer field, doing something, being productive, you know. I grew up in the inner city of Detroit, the youngest out of five. What I can say, man, is that my parents really took good care of me, my brothers, my sisters. You know, it kept us in situations where we didn't have to worry about, you know, our environment or being a product of our environment, you know. Growing up, I picked up the basketball, thinking I was going to be in the NBA. I had hoop dreams, everything, man. I'm talking like I wanted to be the next Shaq or the next Kobe, one of them guys, man. It didn't come to about like my junior year. I realized that it was time to put down the basketball and start taking football serious. Took my shot, bet on myself. I guess I made the right decision, you know. <laughs> I was more like the. Uh, mid-range, low post, elbow, spot up, whatever, but I ain't really, my coach ain't let me shoot threes. You know, every time I try to shoot a three, he put me on the bench, so. I got that out of my system early. I wasn't like Steph Curry or, you know, them, them type of guys. Ah, you know, going into my third year, man, in the NFL, I just feel like I lived multiple lives. It's never a day where I take it for granted. You know, I'm always appreciative. These years fly by, man. I try to enjoy every single day, every single week, because before you know it, it'll be year five or year six, and who knows where everybody will be. But I love our D-line room. I got close with a bunch of guys, you know. Them my guys, man. And going into this year, it's a lot of expectations, man. You know, uh, we got the new coach and Joe Cullen. He's a great coach, great guy. My expectation is to have a career year, man, whether it's career and tackles, sacks. I just want to be a good teammate and do what I got to do for the team because that's what the NFL is about. It's a team sport. It's not always about individual goals, individual accomplishments or whatever. I want to do what's best for the team and whatever is going to help the team win. And that's kind of what type of player I am, man, you know? We have finally made it here. We have finally made it to where we need to be, and that is game week. We have gotten through the summer. We have gotten through the spring. We have gotten through the winter. I can't wait. I've been saying it since March. It's finally here. I can't wait to sit down on Sunday and watch this team play, and, and I've got goosebumps thinking about it already, man. For the Chiefs, it's a chance to reveal yourself in a new light. That's really what this season comes down to. Cardinals aside, what is this offense, this new look offense, going to look like week one of the season? We've been wondering and wondering and wondering, like, 
You can see all the training camp, you can see the preseason success, but is this thing really going to work in the regular season when it counts? Love the fact that we're opening up with, I think, what is it? The first eight games, teams are all with the winning records. I love it. The challenge is always great. I always want to play against the best so you can test yourself and see exactly how good you are. Our mindset each and every week is going to be prepare ourselves to be the best that we can be and understand whatever opponent we're playing, what they do, and then go try to exploit it on, on a regular basis. We have the Cardinals coming up, and they have a phenomenal defense, so that's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, and they're good on offense. They've got some talented guys, and they've improved themselves. So the main thing is, who do we start with week one? That's the one we got to beat, and we'll worry about everything else later. We're going to get challenged every week, but you know what? If you like the thrill of competition, that's what the NFL is all about. Here you go. Here it is, fellas. Let's go get it. So it should be fun. Game week. It's go time. Took a ride to the Plaza at Brookside and Red Friday is popping. From what I understand, people are fired up on Red Friday. I love right? it. Yeah, let's Somebody go. Somebody else it. I love the flags. They look great. They, they always, they always Every look time you great. get that flag, yeah. you feel good, right? You do. Uh, yes. you're like, All right, it's time. Oh, it's a gorgeous matchup. I mean... This won't be hard to sell. You know, this game will be intriguing. Everybody knows that the Chiefs have been successful since Andy Reid has gotten here. But this team's different. This team is supposed to be different. It's built different. There might be more young players on this roster than ever before in the Andy Reid era. The Kansas City Chiefs and Mahomes come in and are trying to spoil any good start for his former college coach, who you know, we know he loves. But you know that's just football. That's just the business of the NFL. So you have that factor. They're fast. They're an experienced team. They're well coached. The quarterback is a spectacular player. They've got good players around them on both sides of the ball. And so it'll be a great challenge for us. They're a playoff caliber football team. We understand that. Justin Reed, uh, I don't know if you saw this video from camp. He, like, hammered a field goal. Yeah, 65 yards out. Good. And it was, I mean, it wasn't even close to not being good. I mean, it was a beautiful kick. He's got an unbelievable leg, man. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. I saw it. 65, man. 65. Huh? 65. Huh? Is that the first you've hot hit? What's the furthest you've hit? Huh? That's the furthest I've hit. Yeah. Yeah, good. You saw it too? I'm telling you, just let me get one. Preseason. Preseason, just one. You're going to make my life. I'll tell you what, if Bucker's numbers are up, we probably could work that out. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. I know. Huh? Have you ever kicked one in a game? Not in the NFL game. Okay, we got to get one. I did kickoffs in the NFL game, but not in the Yeah. And hey, we got to get one of those. Again, you're talking about smart, and you're talking about aggressive, he's a good athlete. He's on kick, he, yeah. he, I mean, he's a legitimate kicker, even though he pulled that one the other day. But. Well, Coach put him on the spot right there. Yeah, he yeah. said he needed a few warm-up swings. I'm gonna put him in the game. Yeah. If we get, you know, Bucker gets enough kicks. He's, yeah, he's okay, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals in Glendale, Arizona. Again, this will be the site of Super Bowl 57 in February. I would try to tell you, like, always be fearful. The Cardinals were a playoff team out of the toughest division in football last year. Today, they start the 63rd season of Chiefs football in Glendale, Arizona. They will cross the finish line, hopefully, in the same place. Bring it in together, man, because this is where we're going to be at all night. No matter what the situation is, what happened, what's the circumstance, we stay together. We stay together and know we're fighting all this one. Because I'm going to rise y'all, no matter what. We warriors, baby. Ah! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's rock. You know why we here, man. First impressions last a lifetime. Well, I stay tuned, man. New Chiefs area, you hear me?
will bring out the Kansas City electric offense. What would it look like this year? Patrick Mahomes has got a new challenge without his man Tyreek Hill. Let's go, O. Let's go. They go off tackle again. Edward Tillaire on the edge. 45 stays on his feet into Cardinal territory. 55. In trouble is Mahomes. Spins off the rush. Throws it down the near side. Caught at the 15. And out of bounds at the nine yard lines. Choo choo Smith Schuster. Rolling, baby. Rolling. Hey, we got to Rolling, things. baby. Rolling. Now they float a pass to the near side. It is caught. Touchdown. Kansas City. Travis Kelsey. Touchdown, baby. Touchdown. And that's how we do it. And that's how we do it. First key to victory here for the Chiefs is it starts with trying to contain Kyler Murray. And the blitz and a sack back at the 25 yard line. A big time sack off the corner by Legereus Sneed. Good stop, good stop. Good rush, good stop, Frank. Go, good stop, good stop. Butker slips on the kick and he might have uh, been a little shaken up there. Yeah, stay ready, kick it. Booker, he just under his ankle. Bet. Heads up. You know that that backup plan may have to come to fruition with Justin Reed. Go, you need me to do kickoff too? Yes. Bet. Kick off, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. We got. We just send it out the end zone. Huh? We just send yeah. it out the end zone. Yeah, just kick it. You know Booker running? Yeah. Okay. I know, I know he's out. Okay. Hey, you guys get some. Yeah. Hey, you want to get some of that right? Yeah. Now? Mahomes waiting now. Lofts a pass in the right flat. It's Edwards Hilaire, 35 40. 45 50 the Cardinals. And across the corner, 45 and down to the 43 yard line. The old chip and release by the running back. He got a kick. He didn't kick it. He's got cut. He's kicking off. And field goal. Field goal. I know. We've got to stop some people, right? Listen. McKinnon at running back. Mahomes to throw. Fires it at the 20-yard line. Caught by Kelsey. Trying to pivot free and cannot. Remember in the preseason, Justin Reed actually mm -hmm. uh, wanted to try a point <laughs> after, and he made it. It's right. a safety they signed by way of Houston. Mahomes leading 7 to nothing. Second and 13, they say officially. Again, Harrison Butker injured. Maybe out for the game. Again, Mahomes clean pocket. Kelsey in cut at the five. Diving in the middle of the hash marks and gets down to the two. A kicker in high school and a former soccer player as well. He was the emergency kicker during his days in Stanford. I like it. Let's get it. Hey, we got to get our handshake down real quick. Are we, All right, what going, we, doing? For, are we going for that? Yeah. We're going to go. Let's boom, 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 boom. All right, back. They shovel it inside, Edward Delaire, touchdown, Kansas City. Two drives, two touchdowns, and the Chiefs are on fire in this first quarter of the season. Now Justin Reed will try the point after. You're good, take your time, take your time. But he's never really been able to put uh, his skills to use. In the preseason, he was having some fun, and he nails the PAT. Boom. Oh, so <laughs> was, baby, talk about it. <laughs> That's all right. Just, 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 And Justin Reed's kick goes beyond the end zone. Is that Jan Stenerud? Who's wearing number 20? Oh, he kicked that thing through the upright. Just Jay Reed's kicking, he's kicking through the uprights. Bucker got hurt. It's Connor, has a nose for that end zone, and he scores. James Connor. Cardinals go tempo, they overcome a muff snap. They get some big plays, and they use James Conner in short yardage near the goal line, which they did all last year, and the Cardinals back within a score. The Chiefs have been so crisp on offense. You want to see that momentum continue. 
This is all about coaching, Mitch. These guys are prepared. Mahomes magic, baby. Mahomes magic. Open, wide open for the touchdown. His second of the game. Edwards Alaire. They're on a different level than the Cardinals right now. Firing at left side, he wants Jody Fortson. Comes back to the ball. Caught. Touchdown. Kansas City. The communication, the expectation, guys taking advantage of the defense, and then the coaches knowing exactly what the defense is going to dial up. Hey, that's the way to go. Good work. Good way to be patient. There's Steve Spagnola. Got to give him credit because he's put a new, basically a very new defense together. This is the first time to battle test it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Murray backing up. Starts again on Dunlap. Gets him. Carlos Dunlap says hello. I'm now a chief. And he buries Murray. Goes to the right side. Cuts inside the right guard. Touchdown. Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco. Save that football, brother, and put it on your mantle. That'll work as Kansas City continues its mastery in week one. One and hope, baby. Got a game in a few days, though. Keep the cameras on us, you hear me? Great job, fellas. Good start. Big one Thursday, baby. How about those? Cheese. All right, baby. Nice job, huh? Great job. Way to finish it off. Both sides of the ball, finishing it off. Got some other young guys in there, opportunity to play. Nice job. Now, listen, this thing's a quick turnaround. For you guys that haven't been through these type of things, man, it happens fast. So you need to take care of yourself. Body's good. And then we get right back on it. And, and we, we know about the Chargers, right? Hey, great job today. Like you said, enjoy this for a plane ride. Then we ride on to the Chargers, baby. Chiefs on three, one, two, three. The Kansas City Chiefs are, are fortunate to have this week two game at home. As far as meaning goes, this game week one pales in comparison to the importance of what will be this short rest Thursday night game against the LA Chargers. You have to recover faster. I mean, you, you, you're you going to be sore, you're going to be coming off the highs of a season opener and you've got to turn it around and face a team that has been hunting you for two years now. Everybody wants to take out the Chiefs, and this division may come down to a game or two. I know fans don't want to hear that sometimes, and it may come down to who wins Thursday night football. Just because it's week two doesn't mean it counts any less than a week 17 game. It's in prime time, it's on Amazon, everybody in the country is going to be watching it, and this might be a preview to maybe a potential third round like heavyweight fight. And so when you when you get that possibility of a trilogy, I think it makes the game even more intriguing because you know whatever happens in week two will serve in December and possibly could be um, something that you use to your benefit in January. Wanna walk down this way? Walk down this way. Welcome. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? I thought I was the only one. Huh? I thought I was the only football guy. No, no, no. Tomorrow. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah. I mean, regardless if it's going to be a big game. Yeah. It could be an empty stadium in a random place, and right. it would still be a big game, right? right? But the fact that it's here at Arrowhead on Thursday night, our first Amazon game, our, yes. yeah, the yeah. whole thing, it's, it's going to be over the top.
son brought him. Go on for his birthday. He's his birthday. <laughs> First time. Thanks, guys. The National Football League changed in 2018 when the Chiefs made Patrick Mahomes their QB1. It changed again when Justin Herbert became the Charger QB1 at the beginning of the 2020 season. Mahomes and Herbert had the top two passing yards per game average in NFL history with QBs with at least 1,000 passing attempts. And this Chiefs Chargers Thursday night game will be only the third time in 73 seasons that two QBs who average 300 plus career offensive yards per game will match up. The other two, Mahomes and Herbert last year in week three and week 15. It's a huge early AFC West duel that will test the Chiefs' recent dominance of September. Chargers have had the ball for five minutes. It's the 11th play of this drive. To the end zone, he goes, and can he one-handed in the end zone to Mike Williams? Yes! Mike Williams, what a night. The Chargers tonight, with a few exceptions, have been in charge of this game, no pun intended. Bolt 17, Chiefs 7, midway through the third quarter, snap to the face mask of Mahomes, furious rush, Mahomes throws it late, he's got Justin Watson, catch in the end zone, touchdown! Kansas City burning J.C. Jackson. Two guys on the same page. That's a great route against a very good defensive back. High points the ball. Big touchdown throw. Ah! Yeah, boy! Mahomes on the money to Justin Watson on a corner post double move. Burning Pro Bowl corner J.C. Jackson for a 41-yard touchdown. Dead ass? Yeah. I think same thing uh, for the 10-yard out of against the Chargers. Yeah, same thing. They robbed him for pick six. Ah! I was like, I'm, I'm, if I ever get an out against the Chargers, I'm spinning this. He's out. He's out. Yeah. Let's do one, bud. Yeah, good job. Big trust. The Chiefs are back within three. Game on. Third down and 10 for the Chargers. They lead by three. Chiefs are blitzing. Herbert is sacked. Back at the two-yard line on a blitz. Chris Jones makes a huge play. Herbert had no chance. Chargers three and out for the second straight possession. Smell blood. Blood in the water. Smell blood. Smell blood. Come on, man. Smell blood. They tired. They tired. They tired. They tired. We expected a slug it out game like this. It's exactly what we got. The Chiefs have never led in this contest. They try to shovel it back inside, and the Chiefs are going to be stopped short of the goal line by Jerry Tillery. Do you take the automatic tie, or do you go for the touchdown here? Yeah. They have the whole uh, intermission to think about it. The football just inside the one, and they have brought out the kicker here. And man, if you can't find it now, go find it quickly in the garage. The Chiefs need it. So the Chargers now from the 40-yard line. Play fake. Swings it to the outside. Joshua Palmer. They'll throw it another wide receiver bubble type screen to the right boundary and slipping through two blocks. Trying to stretch the defense, spread them out, get guys the ball with space. It's a big drive here for the Chargers. On a roll. Open. It's Everett, and Everett barrels his way inside the five to set up a first down and goal. You get in the red zone, and now you're trying to get six. Chargers have never trailed in this game. Tied now at 17. Chargers go without a huddle again. Right side, trying to intercept it on the left side. Picked off at the goal line at the 25-yard line. Picked off by Watson. Watson can go all the way. The seventh round pick. 20, 15, 10, 5, Jalen Watson cooking hamburgers in Augusta, Georgia. Then he went to Wazoo, and now he gets a 100-yard pick six for a touchdown. 
perfect timing, great job by a rookie in Watson to step in front of that throw. The Chiefs have their first lead of the night on a one hundo pick six from Jalen Watson. 35 in your program, number one in your heart, part of this great rookie class. making the biggest play of his life on a huge stage at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. shot at him right in the chest and he is still down on his back. Guess who's coming in for the Chargers. Chase Daniel. And a handoff on first down and it goes to Sony Michelle off tackle right. He gets to the 38 yard line and gains four yards. And here comes Justin Herbert as anticipated after one snap. <laughs> Herbert to the out. Oh and he takes another shot this time from Frank Clark. They have to play. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is the running back. He'll get it on a right side run. Breaks a tackle, 20, 25, into the secondary. Edwards Hilaire in midfield. He's at the 40 of the Chargers and slides down on his hip. What a dog. Give him some. Hey, what a dog. 32 yard attack. Bangs it through. Herbert's going to continue to give it a go after taking a couple big hits from the Chiefs. Trying to show some guts here, holding it, and fires it down the field. It's going to be caught by DeAndre Carter inside the 10 on a deep post. And you've got to admire the guts of Justin Herbert. Herbert takes the quick snap. Looking for the middle. And the pass will be caught at the back of the end zone for a touchdown. And the Chargers still have life. A fourth and two conversion for 36. A fourth and goal at the seven conversion for a touchdown. It is good, and this is a three-point game with 71 seconds remaining. And the Chargers with one timeout left, but the Chiefs will have to get their hands team on the field. Not a lot of time to work on this in a short week, but they've got to get this onside recovery. Hopkins tries the onside kick. No, it's loose, but the Chiefs, I think, may have it on the second attempt. It might be Noah Gray slipping in to pick it up. And Noah Gray recovers it for Kansas City. And the Chiefs, after trading in this game, are going to get a huge, huge, huge AFC West victory on a Thursday night. Great job. Great job. Great job. Yes. 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 Good luck. Thank you. We can't talk about the AFC West being the toughest division in football and not expect these kind of football games when you clash, especially early in the season. Both teams came, brought their lunch pail to this game, but the Chiefs prevailed because we made big play after big play and the defense coming through with a key score to put some points on the board. How about those Chiefs? All right, man, listen, great job of battling. And that was, uh, that was a beautiful thing. You got defense, you pounded and pounded. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. 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 Most of all, most of all, nobody was pointing fingers, right? Yes, During the tough times, nobody pointed yes, fingers. You all came together, and we can go a long way with that Absolutely. stuff of luck right yes, here. Yes, Hell yeah. Yes, hey, where, where's 3-5, man? Congratulations. Yeah. Two, one, two. It's the best moment of my life, honestly. It was good to go into the weekend with a with a big W as well. My phone's still going crazy. Monday morning.
Coach Mary um, texted me and let me know that I was going to be up this week. So I locked in mentally. I knew coming into the game that if Justin Herbert sees a seventh round rookie on Mike Williams, I was going to be targeted pretty much. Williams off the back shoulder and incomplete. My goal is for every four targets try to make a play on the ball. And I knew I was going to get at least four. Seventh round rookie with no, you know, NFL experience in a prime time game against an elite quarterback in a good wide receiver group. I knew I knew I was gonna get tested, but I also knew I was gonna make a play if I got tested enough. So Jalen Watson was a seventh round pick. And when you draft seventh round picks, I don't know what the exact odds would be, but what would you say the chances are of most seventh round picks even making the active roster? 25%. Is that not a story of real perseverance? No offers out of high school. Went to um, junior college out in California. Two-time All-American there. Had close to 50 offers. Ended up going to SC. But they offered late, so my classes weren't transferable after I signed, so I had to sit out a year. I went back home for that year. My mom told me I need to get a job. She didn't want me to just sit in the house and be content, so start working at Wendy's. It was, it was terrible. I was like, it's either two choices I have, buck up and get my grades right, or, you know, have to live that lifestyle, and I got it right. I'm outside, I'm outside. I ended up going to Washington State. Just taking that year off, it made me so appreciative to play football and do what I love, so. Stop playing with me, boy! I ended up being a the captain there. I was a leader on the team, and that also meant a lot to me. Guys put trust in me in the short time that I've known them. I just took advantage of it, man. All the teams that passed up on me, I want to make them pay for it. And I know every week is a new week. It's going to be highs and lows, but you got to stay level-headed. So that's what I plan on doing. Usually have a 24-hour rule. You celebrate for your 24 hours, then it's to the next week. You forget about it. Luckily, we played on Thursday, so I had more than 24 hours to celebrate this one. But now it's back to work. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I haven't been fighting until I 